Good morning. So um, it's taken a little while, but um, I think I've figured out how to build the flat pack of Snippet Pixie. Um, so let's go have a look. Get the VM up and running. So I'm doing all this on elementary six. So previously I was stuck um, trying to get a dependency to compile and run. Um, so I, Snippet Pixie needs to use the iBus library um, for input um, methods, um, key monitoring and things like that. Um, and unfortunately that doesn't come um, with any of the um, elementary SDKs, the, the libraries. Um, for Flatpak or the underlying GNOME uh, SDKs as well. So I have to bundle the uh, the bindings for the Vala language myself into the Flatpak, well, for the build. Um, so uh, let's get into my env. As well. Okay, so what have I got here? Yeah, I'll just do a quick build to make sure it's all working. I'm just gonna clean out the previous build and the flat pack stuff. So that's now clean. Yeah, nothing, nothing there. I've got a little script that runs the flat pack, flat pack command. Now, hopefully this will do the do. So it downloads IBUS, compiles it. Takes a little while. And now it's now it's on to it's already just done the uh, snippet pixel stuff as well. And that's it. So it's built a flat pack. Um, so if I go, there it is. It's up and running. Um, there are a few little issues with it um, because it's a flat pack and I need to set up all the uh, permissions uh, because it's constrained. Um, so at the moment it's having problems with um, saving the shortcut that's used for the search and replace. Um, search and paste window. Um, and the actual keyboard monitoring for when you're in a um, an application that can do that, um, something which is built on uh, GTK, um, isn't working either, as far as I can tell. Um, but it's a start, I got there. And the key was, I'll go into the flat pack manifest. What I had to do was um, for the dependency, the IBUS, um, I had to try and disable as many things as I could. Um, and But I was still having a problem with the Pi object bindings. Uh, we're trying to install into a read only directory for whatever reason, they're not picking up on the prefix. Um, you probably saw that um, in the previous video. Um, so what I had to do was um, disable the install 
part of the build of that module um, with the no make install um, and then override the build commands um, which is a it's, sorry, not override insert a build commands um, option there which um, happens between the make and the make install although I don't have a make install um, and just do a singular install of the Vala bindings and that's all I need and then I'm done but you saw that um, it does a whole bunch of building of um, the IBUS uh, actual binaries and stuff that go with it but I don't need them all I actually need is the Vala bindings I don't need to actually be generating the binary or anything like that so what I thought was so just occurred to me this morning, um, I could probably, I hope, override the make command so that it basically um, only makes um, this. And I'm wondering whether I can do the same on the make install as well. Um, so we'll see. So what I'm hoping is that I can override the make so that it only makes the Vala bindings and then override the make install so it only does the Vala bindings as well. But I need to check to see whether that's even possible. So... See what I need is the reference. Okay. This is the format, the uh, manifest file. I just want to see build options. Here we go. What can I do on the build options? Oh no, it's not build options I need. It's the modules, isn't it? Is this the modules bit? Let me go back. top level yeah I don't want the top level yeah I don't need build options what I need is the modules section so okay so it's an array so it's just like I did I do on there? I did build commands, yeah. So I might not need the build commands if I can just do make args and make install args. And then I won't need to do that. With luck, I'll do less. Okay, make args and make install args. Let's try it. So, in theory, B. 
presume I can do this. We'll see whether that works in a sec. And then I can take that out. And do that. So what I'm doing there is when they do, when it does make, I'm going to do make, but only do this make file as found in bindings file. And then for make install again, when it does make install, it's going to insert the minus C bindings file. So it'd be make minus C bindings file install. That's the theory. We'll see whether that actually <laughs> comes to fruition. Uh, so let's clean up. So I'll make sure everything's squeaky. And go and I don't think I've got anything else going on there. No. Configures just does as little as possible. Do the make. Done. Okay, right. Let's run it and see if it's any smaller or even works. Does the configure? No. Did not like. Uh, so I'm guessing the make actually creates. That doesn't make sense. Creating. Creating bind and make file, but creating bind and file make file. just leave it as what I had before. At least it worked. I just had a thought that I might be able to make it smaller. Oh man. Close that door. Birds are going. That should be a little bit quieter now. Is this? normally see me disappear but those birds are going nuts outside all right let's have a look do we not have bindings we do and we do have father so something about where the make no the make is happening is different Expected it to be there. So look at that config log.
Hmm. I wonder if there's a way of uh, just using the bindings mm. it's just going through all of them there Be nice if I could just do just the Vala bindings, but I don't know enough about make to buy that one out. I think, though, I don't understand why. Hmm, that's a good point. If it's It's the first target. Okay. And all recursive. Mm, okay. Yep, I don't know. I don't know why that's bombing out. I'm just going to do it again. Um,
but I wonder. Oh, actually, no. What was the error? That was a long way back. wonder if there's... is there a pre-make thing? I wonder if I'm using this wrong. Quick look. Um, see if anyone else is using it. Not seeing anything obvious here.
Oh. That could be it. Put them on different lines, each individual space. It's worth a try. Uh, so in theory, I don't need that. And I can do that. Did it just work? I think it did. Well, smart. It's doing far less now. That's great. So does the make, make install as expected there. That's it, is that all it really did? I think it worked as expected. Smart. Okay, let's just double check that. Um, I need to. I need to stop the previous version. Snippet PC once it starts it um it runs a little demon in the background so it can monitor for keystrokes. So to make sure I've got the newest version in memory, I need to see run it. Stop and then a start. Stop. It's there. It's a working. He says, that's not right. Huh. Does it delete? Yes. Add. Oh, I know why. That's because I didn't change it. <laughs> SP. That's a little protection thing if you don't. There you go. And then I have put in the custom shortcut, so yeah, that works. So I've mainly put in the shortcut because this thing here is not working to save it and it's not showing it, so there's a little problem there that I need to fix. Um, but brilliant, that's good. We have a building and faster building package. stuff. Okay. Let 
Let's commit this. Only build, only build install by bus files. to build. That'll do. Sorted. Good stuff, right. Um, I can come out of there now. And close this down, I guess. Because that's my day done for this bit. So that's great. Um, so now I have a working flat pack of um, Snippet Pixie. It says working. Um, I do need to sort out um, the actual key monitoring um, and shortcut saving. Um, and I presume the auto start, but I haven't checked that yet, but I presume that won't be working uh, because with a flat pack, you need to obviously make sure that um, you comply with the security uh, considerations there. And I'll need to sort that out. Um, so that'll be a task for uh, next time. Um, but until then, take care.